going to read a story for Uncle Floyd. Before Uncle Floyd comes <laughs> on, I want to ask my official comedy deputy. We've deputized Barry Zabowski to bring down some of the blockbuster comedians he runs across. And Barry, because I can't find words to tell you how much I admire the man alongside me. How about you setting the scene for a gentleman? Well, first let me tell you how much I admire you. <laughs> and uh, the fact that we had the great Joe Franklin Soundalike contest at my club, which was really a smash. And I want to thank Sean C. Howell for giving us about eight minutes on live at five. And I'm going to try to get permission. We're trying to get it to show Chauncey Howell's clip on this uh, That's TV great. channel. I want to introduce now Mr. Uncle Floyd, who's doing a one-man solo show at my club, Comedy U Grand, on Grand Street and West Broadway in Soho. And uh, he's just been extended into April, every Tuesday in April at 9 p.m. How about a, uh, what we might call an update, and don't be in a hurry, on the life and times and activities of a very successful young man named Uncle Floyd and talk for nine hours because of this man. When, when he's on here, the rating zooms. Uncle yeah. Floyd, take it away. I have this, my first appearance in six years, Joe. <laughs> six years on your show. You've been avoiding us. But I've been, no, I've been busy. I'm on, uh, of course, public television in New Jersey, New right. Jersey Network, uh, right. Monday through Friday right. at uh, 7 o'clock. And I'm on uh, a, a rock video station, U68, out of Newark, New Jersey. And I'm on Nickelodeon cable TV across the country. Wherever you go, you find Nickelodeon. I'm on a show called Turkey Television. Can I ask you a so, question? Do you do you yeah. feel as I feel about you, and I happen to like, I, I love this man's format. Do you feel as I feel that you that you have trailblazed, that, that your format that you created has been more or less, shall we say, uh, what's a good word, Mallet? Lifted, borrowed, you know what I'm saying? Well, and don't uh, don't be modest. Me, yeah, it, it, a lot of the things we've done have appeared on network shows right. under various uh, titles. We right. have... Uh, years ago established that Mr. Dill, the talking pickle, <laughs> who became something else, and right. we've had, we have, but, uh, you know, it was, uh, whenever you're on television, somebody's going to grab something, so you don't, you don't or resent, borrow a piece. You don't resent your concept being aped, shall we No, I wish it was more and more and more. There's a guy who does an act now, he says, here's Uncle Floyd playing the piano, and you know, Joe, I love the old song. I know. He starts, he says, Uncle Floyd playing the Beatles. And that, that's the kind of intro that I would give to, uh, uh, to a Beatles song. So when I hear those things, I think uh, uh, that's good. I'm getting some kind of recognition. Do you feel good? Let's say, do you feel euphoric about your protégés, or let's say your disciples, when they, when they leave you? And I know many have done it, Uncle Floyd, to start to do their own thing or their own TV show. Are you, are you, are you happy for them? Or are you... We wish them the best of luck. Uh, nobody's really lasted m uh, long. We're in our 13th year on television. Wow. We work, uh, we work a 48, uh, 48, we do 240 first-run shows with only 20 uh, reruns in one year's time. Oh, right. So we've grinded out over 3,600 half-hour episodes. He's got to be doing and... something good because he's now starring at the White House, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am chatting with a man with a lot of fans out there. His name Floyd, I happen to like you because I know you like the old time, you know, you like nostalgia. Oh. Can I pull a few names out Oh, uh, some of the names that I've seen on this show, of course, uh, uh, George Jessel I used to see a lot on uh, on your show. He's probably one of my uh, my all-time favorites. I also saw the classic Joe Franklin show, which has now become, I don't know if you have it, if you have it in the archive somewhere, but it was Louis Prima's right. last appearance on television. Sad show. He was crying. And he started to cry, Joe, and I, I remember that. And, uh, I, you know, after that, he slipped into a coma. But a Lou, I'm uh, one of Louis Prima's, in Louis Prima's fan club, and that show has become... Uh, talked about constantly whenever we get together. We thought that, Is it uh, around anywhere? We thought he was crying. Yeah, I think I have a tape somewhere. We, we thought he was crying because we mentioned Angelina Mallow. That was his mother's name. But mm -hmm. the sad part is we found out later on he had a uh, brain tumor and it was the pressure yeah. that was uh, causing him. And I remember you held up the album and it was. It was Angelina. He was right. here to promote his album and had a picture of his mother and you said, Louis, uh, does, does the picture, uh, the name remind you of your mother? And he, he broke down right. and then it was, but it was a classic show because so much information was given away uh, on that show when you talk to him uh, that, that we never found out the rest of anyway but I love all about, Georgie about, Price Georgie uh, Price great how about Billy Crystal you think that your impression of me sort of paved the way for Billy Crystal to do uh... oh I, I'm not getting into that Joe <laughs> <laughs> but, but you got me going into that uh, I love uh, it I've lampooned a lot of the celebrities Groucho Marx George Jessel and uh, Julia Child and uh, would you would you come down one day Floyd soon and and uh, and play some of the old songs of the piano I'll for us anything you name Joe anything from 1885 see I get weak after World War after 1945 <laughs> I'm in trouble that's when the world ended ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna make it very very official. Let me hold it up. I don't see how you can 
how you can uh, accommodate the people. I mean, you, you'll need uh, ten times the space of comedy you. This yeah, is we... like coming into my living room. I say it's my living room. Oh. They're coming into not a nightclub. It's it's actually I've got the whole stage and I do over sometimes what two and a half hours. About that, yeah. I and we've been selling stage. out each performance. I stay on stage and I and I and I stay on until everybody leaves the club. Two and a half hours I stay up there, Joe. Uncle Floyd on Tuesday nights, is it? At Comedy U Grand. At Every Comedy Tuesday. U. Well, Floyd, listen, I want you to share a treat with me. We're going to have a sample from uh, Mala Powers of the book, and you know, like story time. Who first called you Uncle? I love that word, Uncle. Who, who first called you Uncle? Was it? My, my nephew. Really? Three years ago. <laughs> And that was the, uh, and it stuck, it stuck, right? No one calls me, they call me Floyd. Hey, Floyd. <laughs> but, uh... Uncle Floyd. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, of course, uh, years ago when I was a kid, every pawnbroker was called Uncle Sal. Uncle Sal. <laughs> it was Uncle Floyd, and he's going to be uh, treated now to a touch of Mala Powers and maybe a couple minutes from Follow the Year, maybe the uh, anniversary of uh, Easter. You, you choose yeah, the holiday. Well, I think this is the Easter season, okay. so perhaps right. we should we should do one. Uh, I did one just... Done the... Uh, Uncle Floyd program? Oh, sure. I bring everybody down. You know, <laughs> I'd I love to have her down and then have you down on my show sometime. Thank you. Mala. Thank you, Uncle Floyd. I would like that. a hot show. You will enjoy the Floydian shtick. You will and I know that. how to read, too, you know, <laughs> by the way, because Joe said three times you were going to read to me, but I do know how to read, right, Joe? Right, right. <laughs> read it oh, but I, I like to read to people whether they oh, read I, or not. Oh, you have a beautiful voice. I, I can Thank listen you. to everything. Ladies and gentlemen, when Uncle Floyd comes back soon to play the piano for us, you will sing along and laugh until you cry uncle, right? That's right. <laughs> I want to thank Floyd. You're uh, one of my pets. There he is at the piano. I'm going to play all the Georgie Price songs. Name one, name one, name one. It's a sweetheart's Holiday. How's that go? The man in the moon is as happy could be. Hey, grab your steady. Please get ready for the sweetheart's Holiday. I but I, I need the keys. We, we, we'll, we'll work it out. Yeah. We've got more uh, sweethearts coming in following these words, as we say, to Barry and to Mala and to Floyd. You are champs, every single one. See you in the movie. See you at the comedy. You be right back.